It's season three, episode 12. The end? We're in sixth place, my friends. We're supposed to be in fourth. We are a whopping 11 points off of fourth. That is a monumental challenge. We have got to beat Orange and Purple. Orange and Purple. Grand Slam and Yuma. I'll never remember that. Orange and Purple in the race. Or we are going to get fired. We are going to be stripping parts like nobody's business before qualifying. That's all that I'm saying. All right. Farah has been... He's more marketable. So, like, this is what's so tragic. We're going to set... The, I think we're being set up to fail, to be honest with you. Our marketability currently is 74.6%. And we've got a bunch of money coming in in three in after this race. And then even more after the, the first race of next season. And I don't know if we're going to get to see it. It's a 19-lap race in Cape Town. It's that race, uh, the street race. It rained last season. 2.3 miles. 10% chance of rain. With the best braking system around. We're going to be stripping parts like crazy. We got our reliability work done, I think. It's so, it's so damn good during the race. Because I don't remember about the course I can do as God said. It's like, everyone's like, you guys are great. You guys are so fantastic. And then you, we're not. And then we have like a bad pit stop. I'm honestly thinking that we're going to take White and put him on like safe pit stops. That's the only thing I could think, think to do. Um, right. Okay, now the reliability work is done. I don't know. I honestly don't think there's anything else for us to get more reliable. Okay, we'll take the engines. Sure. We'll take uh, the suspension. Sure. We have maxed out performance on everything of the parts that we want to use. So sure, we'll we'll uh, we'll work on the reliability of those things. Get them up as high as we can. It's off to Cape Town. This may be the end. I'm so unhappy about this because we got greedy. It took the fourth place thing because we had a really good car last year. Good drivers. Seventh and twelfth is not bad, right? We're getting the headquarters. We've like improved everywhere. I'm talking to you. You're probably on my side anyway. So it probably doesn't do us any good. Now does it? Acceleration, deceleration, top speed. I probably should have saved our setup from last season. He's happy. Loving it. We're going to strip like crazy. All right. We're going to strip like crazy. All right. How you doing? We're going to go <laughs> to Cape Town. I'm going to get to practice of qualifying. Just just sit here for the next three seconds while this transitions into the actual race, because I'm going to go do this off camera, that we get, like, pole position. <laughs> so... We came in first and second in practice, and now it is absolutely pouring. Absolutely pouring. So all the hard work we did on the ultra soft and soft tires, is it going to matter a lick, is it? Uh, I mean, does it really matter if we go out and set up? Set a lap when it's pouring down rain. I don't think it does. So we'll hold off on going out. I can't get his speed any better. I've dropped the gearing down as far as humanly possible. He's at 96%. So we'll just leave it, I guess. Um, I, I normally don't show qualify, but I think this is like, this could be the last race of our career at Nicholson Racing. So we might as well show it. Um, we're going to take the qualifying trim and... If it dries up, we'll take the ultra soft performance boost. We don't have a, an inter uh, intermediates boost, so we'll take the qualifying trim. We are going to take qualifying, yes, please. All right, so I think we're just gonna leave him in the garage for now, and watch this click forward to see if it's ever gonna get to the point where we can use our intermediate tires. If not, we'll go out on intermediates because right now it is just absolutely coming down it doesn't appear to be getting any better now does it maybe let's do this let's go ahead and set a lap on wets just to say we did yeah and then if it if it's okay see the sun's peeking out there so let's go get a lap 
on what's done and then we'll come in and do an actual lap. So maybe you'll see something here that I'm doing wrong in our qualifying strategy. I always leave it on auto on, on their, their uh, clean air optimization. That's a setting. If you don't know, there is a setting inside of Motorsport Manager, like before you go into your save, that allows you to adjust that. Of course, we'll go out on wets and it's going to it's gonna come off and we should be on intermediates. Classic. Classic. I probably should have brought him back in just then, to be honest with you. So the first part of this lap will be fast, and then it's just going to go all kinds of bad. Um, you know what? I'm just going to bring him in. We're going to be slow. 786. Second sector here. 8.8. .8. Yep. Let's, let's just cancel that out. We are going to switch over to our super softs. Uh, yeah. Coming down. Engelhart's coming down pit lane. So that was exciting. Not putting in a lap time. Yep. Yeah. And is that... I can't tell if that last thing above the two minutes is rain. We're going to send him right back out. By the time he gets back around, the Ultrasoft should be fine. I'm hoping. Yeah, water on the track is going to go away. We're going to send you back out. We're going to switch you back over to this, the Ultrasofts. I'm not even paying attention to where like the rest of the cars on the track are because we have to get a lap time down. And hopefully on Ultrasofts, we'll have like the... I mean, they're all going to switch, surely. We'll have the fastest times out there. we got some clean air in front of us. Oh, not Englehart doesn't, but uh, White does. And it's an outlap, so we're, we're passing people on wet tires. That's good. We're in 19th and 20th. It can only get better from here, my friends. No rain. We have enough time to get around. We have started our lap. This could turn out to be really good if the other cars don't have enough time to get around to put in a lap time. Oh, I'm nervous. I mean, it's going to say that we're at the top of the grid, but we have... What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in theory, we should be at least in top ten, like eighth and ninth. And that's if those other cars don't have time, or if they all have time to get lot times in. So currently we're top of the grid. Let's see what happens. This could be this could be huge. This could be huge, my friends. Okay, we're dropping down to the second and third. Here it comes. Third and fourth. All right. Fourth and. <laughs> Although the grip on the on the tr okay fourth and fifth, fourth and fifth, my friends, on a must must win race. I think I said orange and purple, orange down here, purple up here. Oh, can we can we take fourth and fifth and do something with it? Okay, we have stripped the car all the way down, all the way down. Let's look at the weather. Rain, lovely. Lovely. Is it, is it going to keep raining? I can't tell. Lovely. So we're going to start on intermediates. We, we stripped 80% and uh, gained 240 performance. It's just a risk we have to take. We're going to take, take, take the race trip. I think we're going to have more than one pit stop, so we're going to take the fast. We're going to risk it, I know, with the pit stops, even though we've had problems with it. We're going to hope eventually we get to the point that we can use ultra softs. It doesn't really matter. It's that or super soft. So if you're going to use super softs, you might as well use the ultra softs, in my opinion. All right, here we go. Intermediates time. Uh, how how long are the intermediates going to last? Nine to eleven. So that could make it a one stopper. I hate to fill us up full, full of fuel and then it, the drain drop off, and then we've just carried around excess fuel for no reason. But I'd also hate to run out of fuel. Oh, I'm so torn. We'll do 10 laps on Englehart. Assuming that it's just going to keep raining. This is what happened last season. If you remember, it kind of was like, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen with the weather. 8 to 10. So he can go 9 laps on his first stint. We still may make it a two-stopper. I don't know. Because I'm counting, I'm essentially with the two stop, with the faster risky pit stops on Englehart, I'm counting on the rain going away and us having to come in anyway. And we just accept that we've had to carry around extra fuel. We could gamble, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to gamble. That seems like a bad idea. So we're not going to push the fuel. Nine laps for White, ten laps for Englehart. Everyone just chill out. Good luck, my friends. 
Oh, no, no, no. Did I? I'm really glad it did that. Oh, wait, no. It's, it's, if the, it's going to start freaking me out over nothing. All right, let's just go check. I did choose intermediates, right? Yes, intermediates. It's not good for the current weather. What are you, a forecasting center would be nice. I know that's what you're thinking. You're like, I mean, you should have a forecasting center. Or fourth and fifth. They've got wets. Oh, has it gone all wrong? Should we have chosen wets? We'll be, we'll be faster out of the gates, right? Because it's not wets just yet condition, right? Right? Let's watch it here. We should be faster. Oh, uh, we're not. We're not faster. We've lost a spot. Oh, okay. Uh, Barnaby's having the race of his life. He's up to first. Oh, it's gonna get nasty, and we're gonna be on intermediates. So we get. We got to build the lead now. I'm thinking. Yep, yeah, we got to build the lead now. Uh, I can't push those tires, can I? Build the lead now, my friends! <laughs> We're a good 9, 10 seconds ahead. Is it just going to keep on raining? If so, we just have got to... We'll have to come in. I don't want to risk it just yet. Let's see what happens on the... With the weather. We've got a lead! It's 14 seconds. That's not going to be good enough. But, you know, right now it's intermediate weather time. So if we can just cruise out here as, as long as humanly possible... I, I really wish we could see what's going to happen. It's getting colder and rainier. I, I'm just going to tell him to, to gun it. And that way, if we burn through the tires and the fuel a little too fast, we can, we can switch over to wets here after the next lap. Okay, we've got another several bars of wet tire situations here are they going to start catching up to us probably right about now we got a 16 second lead okay we've just come around we are well ahead of the pack all right we're gonna come down this final stretch we can't double pit can we we cannot double pit so who do we bring in who do we bring in 17.4 17.5 they are driving really slow behind us okay let's check I have a feeling someone's going to pay the price here, but we're, we're going to come in for wets on, I think, Englehart, because he's, he's got the extra fuel, so you, white is a little bit faster right now. We'll bring in Englehart. It's so hard to tell with this. This is going to be a very interesting race. We can't go the full distance anyway. We're going to have to pit. We can go 9, what is it, 9 to 11? 9 to 11. 15. So if we can go... 8. We could push the fuel a little bit. Go 8 laps. Push the tires. Come in. Kind of spread out the 15 laps. Because it's... Again, we're going to have to pit again anyway. Parts look okay. We're going to risk it with the pit. Is it worth the 2 seconds? I mean, it's... it. What is it? Yeah, it's worth four seconds, essentially, because the other balance is the same way. All right, eight laps for Englehart, and then we're going to send White around one more time. Let's... Okay, I thought he crashed. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, dude, I got I got you, mate. We're... Okay, now that we've gone around, let's, ta let's watch him. we got a 20-second, 21-second lead. Okay, Churn through your tires and your... Not necessarily your fuel. Not as much. Let's look at the weather here. It is just absolutely pouring down rain, isn't it? So let's get him around this corner here. Just don't miss the pitting time. Okay, we got a 37 second lead. Man, starting on those faster intermediates was absolutely huge. So, 14 laps left. We'll do the same thing. We'll have him go 8 laps. We won't push the fuel as much. So, then he'll have 6 laps and, and Englehart will come in the lap before. And hopefully by then it dries up and then we can switch. That seems fair, doesn't it? Okay. I, I'm going to do the safer pit. So, we've got a, we got a, uh, 
a huge lead. He's had some mix-ups in the pits that's cost us a ton of time. I think it's worth taking the extra two seconds. Okay, just make sure we get wets here. He can take those eight laps. We're going to go eight laps with them. Just make it just triple checking, my friends. We're actually going to watch Barnaby's pit stop here. Okay, 36. They're starting to catch up, so it's a good time. Okay, 35. He's coming in. Safe pit stop. Easy, easy. Okay, all right. Comes out in second. Meanwhile, Englehart is driving. The lead is down to 16 for third place, okay? But their tires are starting to fail them, so they're going backwards while we are going forwards. This could turn out lovely or horrific still. Okay, it's going to start dropping off, isn't it? It's going to get sunny. It's going to get sunny. We're not going to start pushing the tires just yet. I want to see what the next... Okay, it's starting to drop off. I think we can push your tires here, mate. And your fuel. Let's warm this. Keep the tires as warm as we can. Of course, it'll like dip down and come back up, I'm sure. Two, we have two, two suns in a row, lap nine and lap ten. Here we go. That's like, I'm not even watching what's happening this year. I'm just watching the water on the track. Okay, we got another one here, another one here. We're setting down some excellent lap times. Now, the problem is going to be if those people wait to come in, like, ideally, they need to pit now, but if they wait to come in, they could go to better tires, and that would allow them to start catching up on us. What is, what is third place doing? 19th and 20th have already pitted. They're coming in on intermediate. See, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, it's going to stop being wet weather here in about a lap. Let's check. We're going to let him go around one more time. He's 15 seconds ahead. We could pit them back to back if we had to. Okay, it looks like it is going to dry up on us. Engelhardt is in first. We are going to pause it once Engelhardt comes around that corner. I want to maximize the amount of time we can see the weather. Okay, I'm just I'm afraid I'm going to miss the the pit pit area. Okay, lots of intermediates coming out onto the track. And we're pausing. Okay. Oh, is that it? It's it's almost like it's going to dry up. We're going to have to pit again, I think. If we pit now, even if we went on those, we'd have to pit again. If we went on those, it'd be a stretch. But then we're hoping that it doesn't go completely. That it, that it actually dries out. So we're going to switch to these. Everybody else is on these. So if we get the pit stop done while they're behind us, we could come out in front with better tires. Right? So we'll be coming in first or second and close to third place. And we could take these 10 laps if we needed to. We could do that. Parts look okay. We are going to risk it to save the four seconds. We're going here 10... I don't know if we're going to need him for 10 laps. If we have to pit again, we have to pit again. We'll hope that it actually picks up a little bit of rain. Okay, and Barnaby is right behind 16 seconds. That's enough time to do the pit stop. We'll do the same thing. Oh, he I don't know if he could take him, though. Oh, boy. So he's going to have to nurse his tires around 14 seconds. I kind of think we should put Barnaby on dry tires, but I don't think we're going to be able to pull that off. This is it, my friends. For the whole ball of wax. To save our career, Englehart with the risky pit stop. Oh, he makes a mistake, and that's going to screw up Barnaby. Oh, no. We come out in second and fifth because of the mistake, but the time... Okay, oh, they're coming on softs. Can I come in for wets? No, you may not. If it looks like it's really going to start drying out, then we are going to start pushing like crazy and then pit again to get better tires, I think. I'm really hoping that's rain. It's not rain. It's not rain. Oh, have I screwed this up with our pit strategy. 
second, and third. First place is on, on wets and hasn't come in. Oh my, where is he? I don't even see him. Oh, he's up here. I'm gonna risk it, I think, with the ult. Not the. Can we do the ultra softs? I don't even know if we can do that. Seven to nine. How many laps are left? Eight. Oh, we're gonna risk it. This is it. We're eight laps of fuel. We can take the tires. Eight. It's a nine second pit stop. It's a five second pit stop, potentially. You're just having to do tires. We've already had one mistake. Surely you won't have two. Right? Right? Eight laps. Here we go. Five second pit stop. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to give him these just in case he needs to push a little bit. And he's going to go here. This is it, friends. This is it. Just do the tires. Yes. Boom. In and out. Okay, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do that. Now we're asking for no rain in the forecast. Okay, first and tenth. He's falling back, but he's got the better tires. My friends, this is it. Second place is behind us. We are in ultra softs and softs. I need intermediates. No, you don't, mate. It's going to start drying out. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. It's looking good. Just don't crash. We're, we're falling down because of the wet weather. Maybe I should have gone soft, but I've got to think at the end of the race, we're going to be faster. I've got to think. I'm hoping on the hope. Oh, we were we started out so well. We were going backwards. Come on, track. Dry out on us. Dry out on us. Okay, now he's, he's picking up pace here. It's starting to really... Okay, are we coming back in? Okay, he's 12 seconds. He's 12 seconds faster. Here we go, Englehart. Come on, lad. You're 10... 10.7, 10.8. Why is this going up? 10.9, 11. Or is he going to start catching up now? 11. No, he's not. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. We have fallen all the way down. All the way down. You can start pushing your tires, I think. Their tires have got to give out on them, right? I mean, I know, I know intermediates last longer. Oh, have we screwed this up? Should we have just stayed on the intermediates? He's 11.2. It's not getting any better. Oh, uh, no. No, we should be so much faster. Right? Right? Or have we just finally caught up to the pack and now we're making a move? Okay, we're up to 9.5. 9, okay. We're coming into our... We're coming into form! We're coming into form! He said, look at him cutting through people! They're all pitting! White, where are you? Can you get past pit lane in time? They're gonna be on better tires than you, son. You're gonna have to hold off positions. Okay, you're gonna go back down to here. Third and fifth would be marvelous. Third and fifth would be marvelous. We are ahead of purple. But not by much. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Second is pitting. First is gonna have to pit, right? Surely. First is pitting. We are in the lead. Can we hold on? Three more laps. We are in first and fifth. Englehart, do your thing, mate. Lori is trying to catch up, but Lori is on worse tires. You might need to chill your tires a bit. Let's chill your tires just a bit. Same thing back here. We'll, we'll conserve them just in case we need to push here in a little bit. We are in fourth and in first. This would be the most... The biggest miracle if we pull this off, my friends. If we were able to get 11 points jumping up, I don't know if we're going to be able to put off, though, because third and ninth for purple versus first and fourth. Surely the chairman would be happy if we pull off a podium here. 30%. 
I need to get my tires up to temp, I know, but I need them to stay on your car for another lap, son. I need them to stay on your car for another lap. You can push just the fuzz. You've got extra fuel, though. Push your fuel. It's first and fourth. Here we go. Can the tires hold on? Lori's tires are just the same. Surely we can hold on. The final stretch. Bring them up. Bring them up. I think we've done it, my friends. I mean, we, we, we've done the best we can. If we get fired after this, I mean, what else do you want me to do? First and fourth, starting out on intermediates was clutch for us. I think that's worth a like before you know what happens. I don't even know what's going to happen. Three pit stops gets us a, not only a podium, the top of the podium. White just barely misses the podium, unfortunately. It's, it's weird, the camera actually focused on us. I didn't know what that red text that says Nicholson Racing. I was like, what is it? Why is it blinking? Oh, it's because we won a race. My goodness, we're gonna, we're gonna get the bonus, the 200 grand. We'll get this race. Four laps, five laps, two laps, eight laps. We used four different sets of tires on each car, and it has worked out. I'm not looking, we're just gonna click net. We're just gonna see what happens. I'm not even gonna check the standings. I've gotta think first and fourth gets you more than 11 points in terms of the people ahead of you. That jumps Barnaby up. Okay, that that's just the, the, the brace. 40 points. 40 points. That jumps him up to 4th and 10th. Oh, tied 3rd. It's really tied for 3rd. Come on. We did it! <laughs> we did it! Oh! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. What a way. I You could not have written that better, my friends. I think that's the best episode we've had on this save. My goodness. I was so concerned about the beginning, but we got we were so much faster in those first like two or three laps because they were on wets and it wasn't fully wet uh, on the track. Oh. Where's the champ? 26%. You should be thrilled, mate. We jumped up to third place in the standings. Morale's good. Not really working on the mechanic much. It's, you know, do what you want. I didn't use Farah in um, in practice. I said, forget it. We'll take the, the income hit. Okay? Even though we we got both of those, right? So if we, if, we, if we hadn't hit both of our qualifying and race 10th or above, and there's some of you going, like, you should have taken higher, right? You might as well go out, go out swinging, right? But, uh, you know, if we don't use far, we lose twenty four thousand. That's I, I will gladly lose twenty four thousand dollars on this race because it means unless something strange has happened, it means we have survived. Fourth and tenth in the standings overall, not bad. Let's just look at that again. Third, okay, they're so much better than everyone. That's ninety one points better. Holy cow! I don't care about all that. We've survived, friends. We're supposed to be in fourth. We came true in the. It, it took all all season. It took twelve races for us to come true in some really bad weather, but we've done it. Secure on target. Yes, we're building a building. I just want to see. Okay, and go up. We and we we stripped the car down like bare bones parts. So maybe that helped too. Twelve hours to fix. Engelhart wins. Contracts are running down. We got Farah and Wayne Bellows, so we need to take care of that. Uh, accept interview. Uh, sure. I, I they just got him. I don't know. Sure. Oh, hmm. Let's can can I million dollar buyout that's done in a month? I'm not saying we're replacing anybody. I kind of want to stick with the with the guys we got. Anyway, smash a like on that. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think about that race in the comments, and we'll see you. In the next season, we're going to build a car and do all that. And we'll do all that in the next episode. We'll see how much cash monies we have. Actually, mm, yeah, we'll, we'll do all that in the next episode. I don't feel like doing it right now. I feel like going and celebrating. All right, we'll see you in the next one. What a, that's the first race we've won, too, in case you haven't been paying attention.